Hello scientists, it's P.S. Science here, and this week we're going to learn about animal eyes and how the structure and function of animal eyes enables them to see in ways that humans can only imagine. So scientists, aren't all those different eyes amazing? Can you believe how many different kinds of eyes there are in the animal kingdom and in the insect world? So many different sizes, different shapes, different structures, different functions. And here's a really cool thing to think about. We're studying eyes using our own eyes. And we know from the structure of human eyes what the different structures are in animal eyes. Here's another thing to think about. We can actually take an animal's eyes, or an insect's eyes, and put them into our own head to see how they see. So we're not actually seeing exactly how they see, but scientists are using the knowledge that they have from studying the structure of human eyes and applying that knowledge to how they know the structures work. Another thing that scientists think about with the eyes is how animals and insects have adapted to their environment. Because if you think back on those pictures, think about a frog, right? A frog in a pond has about, most of the time, has about this much of its head showing. And it's got big bulbous eyes. The body is underneath the water. Well, our eyes aren't like that. And imagine if we were up to our eyes in water, right? Our eyes are facing forward. Frog's eyes are much bigger and on the sides of their head. Think about why that would be. Structure and function has to do with how organisms adapt to their environment. So if you need to have great vision at night, what do you think is going to happen with your pupils? Is anything going to happen? Now, how different organisms see is structured from very simple to the most complex. And I'm going to give you a list of how sight develops in different organisms through four stages of complexity.
Where do you think humans fit in on that, scientists? Do you think that we have simple eyes, or do you think our eyes are complex? What's that you say? I didn't explain photoreceptors and photoreception. What are photoreceptors, and what is photoreception? Photoreceptors are specialized cells that are in the back of the retina of the eye, and they are structures that receive light and create visual images and lead to vision. Rods and cones are both photoreceptors, and cones are the structure that allow for color vision and clarity of images and rods allow for vision in low light. Think about the structures of rods and cones and relate that to animal eyes. What kind of environments do animals live in? All kinds of environments, right? Some organisms live underwater, some live in dark forests, some live in bright deserts. How would the structures of rods and cones be different in animals that live in different environments how would they be different from each other, and how would they be different from the rods and cones in human eyes? What do they need their vision for? Are they predators? Are they mostly prey? All of these things contribute to structures and their functions. Animal vision is fascinating. There are many types of animal vision, and you can do a lot of research to see which kind of animals see in a particular way and you should choose one of those animals that you're interested in. What do you think about relocating your eyes, maybe down to where your knees are? Imagine if you were walking around for a day with your eyes where your knees are. How would that change your perception of the world? Would you be able to operate in the world that we've created? Imagine if you had eyes on the back of your head, like all of your teachers do, and your parents. Ha ha. I want you to think about those things because evolution and adaptations, structures, and functions are what create the diversity of life on planet Earth. So, eyes, they're fascinating, aren't they? And here is looking at you, kids. Here's your one more thing. Your project is to select an animal eye and create an art project that shows in full glorious color. Maybe it's 3D, maybe it's oil painting, maybe it's made out of clay, I don't know. But you want to show an animal eye and label it and describe the habitat that the animal lives in and why the structures of that animal's eye or insects are the way that they are as an adaptation to the environment that they live in. Can you do that, scientists? I know you can. Thanks for joining in again, scientists. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.